Hello and welcome to a new part. In this part, we'll, create a, we'll be creating a custom error class for sending error validation. As you remember, in the last part, we have worked on the validation for our only and first endpoint. We created a function that validates the user data and uh, we checked each uh, field and uh, saved in case there's an error we pushed the message for this error inside an array all right so we got an array of uh, errors and once we got these errors in the request here we are sending validation error instead of sending the list of error we are sending a general validation error so now we want to send the array of errors but with the with the built-in errors we only can send a string so that's why we will be creating our own custom class error which allow us to send the array so here in my source folder i'll create i'll create a new folder I'll call it let's say errors and inside of this folder I'll create a validation error dot js which will be a class create here class validation error which extends the built-in error class in the constructor constructor Structure. All right. Here we need to send the uh, the params from the user, the array of errors. We create a variable errors, which will be equal to an empty array by default. Then we'll get the the rest of the parameter in case they are available, and we'll pass them to the parent constructor using the super dot 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 params. All right, so here we're keeping the same error uh, functionality. So the user can use this class as a normal error. Plus it has the extra uh, error array that he can send. Another thing we need to take care of if uh, the, for the error stake, as you can see here in the, where I'm relying on getting the example in the error JavaScript, in the developer.mozilla.org here they su suggest that we maintain proper stack trace for where our error was thrown only available on v8 all right it's only available in node.js so here if error dot capture tra stack trace error dot okay capture tra uh, stack trace and we copy the class it, it captures the the line where the error happened and the column which file and all this stuff we'll set the name of this uh, error type validation error then the variable this dot errors will be equal to the errors sent in the parameters and this dot date which will be equal to new date all right, so this is our class. It's very simple, nothing uh, complex here, but it allow us to send the error, uh, an array of errors instead of being uh, only string. So now we need to test it in our index.js. Now we have our class ready, so we can create our custom validation and we can send it an array of errors here in our index.js we'll import the validation error of course we need to export uh, the class i forgot to export the validation error class so it's uh, here it's module.export module.export i guess let me check equal validation error so here we'll require dot slash error slash validation errors and we can now throw our custom validation error so here in my 
in my route z slash users instead of throwing the built-in error i can throw the validation error and i can give it the result of the validate user so i will create here a constant errors which will be equal to validate user all right and here i'll check for the error dot length all right if there's errors in the array i can throw the custom our custom validation error with the list of errors and in my catch block here i can check all right if error instance of validation error what i will do is is send a response with a 500 status and the message will be error dot errors all right so let's test our code now first let's run the server so i'll go to the directory api and npm run dev all right let's let's send let's send a request with a validation error so here i'll remove the ad in the email which make it wrong format so we expect to get now an error with our new custom error class all right here it is wrong email format if i also change the password to make the format also wrong i'll get two error wrong email format and wrong password format all right two errors so here we get the list of errors all right this is it for now but we can improve it a little bit to inform the user that this list of error is related to validation error what we can do here in the validation error class as you can see here we have the params so here we can add also this dot message equal also the will be with the param zero which will be the message so here we can send error with the message validation error and here we can send a new object that contain the message which will be the error dot message along with the error which will be errors which will be equal to error dot errors so again let us test all right here we have the message is validation error and the list of error is in its own field we can also improve the, the message sent to the API consumer by specifying the field name. For example, here we can specify, we can send instead of a string an object which contains the field name, email, and the message, which is wrong email format. But for our purposes at the moment, we don't need to uh, the field name. We just uh, send the, we just need the list of errors. So we'll, uh, we'll refrain from uh, adding more uh, features till later on, once we saw that we need those features. Of course, here concerning the validation, as you can see, it is hard coded inside the index.js. Once the application evolve later on in the near future, we will, of course, decouple the validation from index.js and we will uh, make some uh, class for validation which will be a general class that other specific validation will inherit from this class but we want to keep things simple we want you to go step by step uh, understand each step uh, perfectly before moving on to more complex uh, subject now i want to thank you for watching this video i hope you uh, i hope you understand this the process here of uh, validating the user the user's endpoint and I'll see you in the next video.